Hello friends, so today we can discuss very important problem from lead code problem name cherry pickup 2 it is a problem which is of a hard version from lead code and this is based on dynamic programming I'm telling you in upfront but let's first understand the problem statement and try to devise a method to solve this problem out so stay with me now you're given that there is a matrix in which rows and columns are given to you uh, as you can see this is a grid okay and now there are two robots okay one robot is on the top left and the other is on top right as you can see okay now every block in this matrix has some cherries okay the cherries can be marked as the number so which means that the first block has three cherries the second has one one two five and so on now both of these robots have to move along this matrix in a downward fashion what I mean by this is every robot can either move to the bottom cell, bottom left cell or bottom right cell. Okay, as you can see both of the robots, this robot can also do the same bottom cell, bottom left and bottom right cell. If this cell is out of bound, then obviously you cannot move to that cell, but both of the robots can move according to the given rules. And now if and now on whichever cell the robot will land, they will collect the number of cherries on that block. So as you can see, if this is on 3 and 1, they both have taken 3 and 1 cherries respectively. If this robot go to the, this block and this go to this block, then they will like also add up the total cherry by 2 and 1, which is 3. So both of these robots will collectively catch the cherries. Okay. And now if they both land on the same block, then obviously like there is no two cherries. So like if they both land on the five cherry block, then either of them can only take the cherry. Okay, both of them cannot take the cherry. So the total increment in the total sum of cherries will only increment by five. If they both land on some different blocks, then the total increment be, will be by the increment of the, like the summation of both of these blocks. But if they land on the same block, like while moving down this matrix, then the cherry it will be only added once because the block has only this amount of cherry. So now both of these robots will optimally move from the top row to the last row and collective like collect all the cherries along their way such that you have to maximize the number of cherries collected by both of the the total summation of the cherries selected by both of these robots should be maximized so you have to output the answer as you can see as the grid grid bigger so this robot can move along to this path and this robot can move along to like this path so in each step they have to go to the next or the bottom row and in the bottom row they can move from the current cell to the top like like the bottom left bottom right or bottom cell okay so you have to tell that now in like how can you tell that this is a dp problem first like this is a standard like almost all the dp problems of traversals will be using like dfs or some db techniques okay so now also as you can see the grid's length is very small it's up to 70 only okay so now <clears throat> you can understand that you have a lot of states in this if you can easily define a state in a matrix or in a dp table or in a problem then you can easily understand what will be the next optimal state so a dp problem states that you have to consider all the possible states and pick out the state which you actually want for the current answer so as you can see if this is a standard problem in which you start from the top like if there is only one robot and this is a grid and if you start from the top cell then it is a very standard problem in which like you have to go from the top left to the bottom right and you have to just collect out as more pass like as possible number of sum along the way it's a very standard problem but now there are two uh, robots along this way so now how you can solve this problem out you have to just do the same thing but you have to first determine what is a current state a current state in a problem defines by what are the parameters which actually defined out a current state in a problem so how can, what are the number of variables through which you can define out a like current state so as you can see in the current state they both are on the current low like the row is always same for both of the robots it cannot happen that this robot can go one step down and this robot will remain to the same point no so both have to go one step down along the path so but the row number is one variable and the column of both of these robots so the, there are three variables one is the row number and the column of both the robots so these are the three states like the three variables which can define the current state okay now for each state you have like <coughs> if the both robots land on the same block then you obviously my total answer will only increase by the total block value by one solely but if they land on different blocks then the total value increment by the summation of both of these blocks value 
and now for every block you have three states to go from this you have this state this state or this state and i like as you can see for this state you have this state this state and this state so if you know that that if my robot is on this state now what is my optimal way so now you have to calculate for this this and this from if my robot is on this way what is my optimal this this and this if my robot is on this what is optimal this this and this these all are on out like out of bounds so the current state value optimal state value is six for this for this like because this is the six like this is the maximum so if my robot is on this point then it is always optimal to go to this point that's why it is collecting more points so from obviously a current state you can obviously go to some state which is more optimal to you so you have to find out the maximum next state so you have three options you have you can go to this option you can go to this and this and among all of this so for every robot you have three options so so as you can see for every robot you can go this this and this and for every like this robot is this this and this so three into three which is nine so there are nine possibilities because it means that the first robot can go to the bottom left and the, the next robot can go to bottom left or bottom left and do, bottom bottom left and like bottom right so for every state of moving of first robot you have three options for the next so there are three into three which is nine states so now for every nine states you have to calculate out whether you have pre-computed the answer if you have not pre-computed the answer calculate the optimal path from the current state so for like for if you want to go to this point you have to find out the answer for this state and this state so there are three variables and like because the dp table consists of like three dimensions i cannot actually draw it out but i hope you understand the logic part now i will make it more clear with the like uh, actually the code part now so this is the starter function this is the main function so i have made a like as you can see the the grid values are between 70 okay so now i have made as you can see a dp table of 80 80 80 because like you can make it of 72 or 72 but you just have to make a dp table of three variables because i have to store out the row number the column the current like column one and column two so this dp table is actually storing that value to store out what is my current state value to which is actually storing out that if my one robot is on c1 column my other robot is on c2 column and both of them are at the rth row what is the maximum like what is the maximum total summation i can get that block is storing that answer and that is dot so i have to first mem set everything to minus one because we don't know any answer initially and then i find out the like the grid values like the dimensions here and then i'll actually call out this okay function which actually start my uh, like uh, this this actually send out the, this grid value okay and then there are two dimensions actually this is the row so row is always common for both so that we just only required one row but there are two columns c1 and c2 so c1 is for the cth robot which is starting as zeroth index and the other robot is starting as the the index is if this is like the length of this is m so the total length of this is m and this is n okay so this is n and this is m so as you can see the index is from 0 1 2 so m minus 1 so this is the like index for the first robot and the last robot okay and then this is the okay function in which we first find out the dimension of this grid you can also send them out in the starter function also okay function and now we have to first check out at what is the exit condition if my r if because in that always in the next time i go to the next row if somehow my row become equal to n because my last index of the row is n minus one if my row again go to one more step down it becomes like row becomes n so if my row becomes n i have gone out of bound and now i have to return out zero else this is the, the this is the memoization value if i have actually already seen this <coughs> sorry if i've already seen this state which is the state is c1 c2 and r if this dp table of this state is already seen which means that this value is not equal to minus one then we return out this state value else you have to find out this state value so for every state out i have to find out that uh, there are two things we have to find out that for every block like for every state value I have to find out that if both of these robots let's assume that my current robot is on this point and my other robot is on this point now if this is the current state value because it is defined by row the column one and column two if these are the two robots what is actually the next state the maximum state so if my both of the robots are on this point now we have to find out that what is the next like if my both of these robots are on this point if they go like if they somehow go to this point so now what is the next state they can go they can either go to this point go to this point like my first robot can go to this point second robot can go to the this point my first robot can go to this point second robot can go to this point so there are nine possibilities so for all the nine possibilities i have to find out which of them are maximum and among all of the maximum we have to add up these values like these uh, because my robot are on this value now so i have to also add out this value and the next maximum current state value so that's what i'm doing the the nine values are i starting from minus one to one because i have three options and also j starting from minus one to one the next current like the down 
uh, so the down uh, like the value of the block point is that current column is c1 so the new can be c1 plus i and c2 plus j <coughs> sorry and now i have to find out that that whether the columns i have generated this new column c1 and c2 capital c1 and c2 they both are valid like they should be inbound that's what i'm checking if they are inbound then i have to find out the maximum answer among all of these states that's what i'm saying like okay function okay and now if this c1 and c2 are same so my like the final answer which is actually this is actually storing out the like the maximum answer for the new states like the next state which will mean that if my both of the robots are in this point and if one robot go to this point and other ro ro go, robot go to this point so for the new states my robot position if i know the answer for those states because like let's say my robot one go to this point and my other robot go to this point this is one state the, the other state can be if both of the robots starting at this point now other one robot go to this point and other robot go to this point or one robot goes to this point other robot go to this point if among all of these states i have to find out the maximum and now also among finding out the maximum I have to also add a this value and this one because both of these robots are also on this point. So I have to also count account or add these uh, like these two values also. So these values are denoted by C1 and R. So if both of these values, if both of these C's are same, then obviously my answer will only increment by one of this grid value. But if both of them are different, then my answer will increment by the R C1 plus R C2. Okay, because both of these values are different. And now my returning out like while returning out my total answer i have to store out this dp like this state value in this dp table and that's the whole logic for this problem i hope you understand the logic as well as the code part now if you still have doubts you can mention on the comment box i'll see you next one keep coding bye